There is always clutter to peel, and today we're going back to the entryway. Here is where things stand now. It's a bit of a mess. Yeah. I was feeling overwhelmed because I was working on t-shirts. <laughs> You'll see the t-shirts a little later in the video, but... <laughs> I needed to do something else. So instead, I thought, let's go ahead and go out to the entry. Now, first of all, I had to move those two boxes. What's in those are some shelves, and I'm going to put them somewhere, but I haven't decided where. So I've just tucked those next to my entertainment center, and I'm going to figure out where to put those at some point. Now I'm going through a bunch of mail. I need to figure out a mail routine because I never seem to go through it. I just let it pile up. I'm thinking of just setting an alarm on my phone once a week and then just going through the mail at that time. It seems like the easiest option. Now I'm pretty proud of myself for finally doing an angle that you can sort of see what's going on when it comes to decluttering the entryway the past two times I've done it. My angles have been less than stellar, <laughs> to put it mildly. The bad news though is that I did this decluttering at night and apparently that's giving focus issues. No, it's not your eyesight. It is the video that just did not want to focus. Maybe it's because my face is not in frame. I don't know. This box holds some vitamins and I am putting those in the top left corner. I have some dog themed stuff down here and I figure I might as well move those slowed down the video for this cute little <laughs> cameo from my two guys. I thought, well, I have a box of dog themed stuff that needs to go in my cubby. So I thought, should I go through the cubby? But no, I'm still not ready after Cupid's passing. And his birthday was yesterday, February 14th. It was a very rough day for me. So what do I do? I decide to <laughs> go through some dog things. Oh. I didn't really think ahead on that one. What I was thinking was I need to declutter something that's a bit of a smaller scale than my t-shirts. And what can I find that needs to be decluttered that's smaller scale than that? Well, pretty much everything in my house is smaller scale than my t-shirts. But yeah, I immediately thought, let's do the entryway. I am definitely glad to get this done. I am going ahead and setting down that little bowl. You'll see what I do with it a bit later. Clearing this off. This is Colt's leash. That is a frame that again you'll see a little bit later. I'm really just trying to go through everything. That is some candy that I got. And here is my little bowl that has my keys in it, but it fell and got a chip in it. And I decided it's really, it's a cool, unique shape, but it's just not right for the keys. So I got this other bowl from the same Etsy shop that I got the first one at, and it's a nice sort of flower shaped one and that will definitely contain the keys and take up a bit less space than the other one. I do love the unique shape of the other one, 
But that unique shape also made it easier to just bump up against and it would fall to the floor, which is what chipped it. Now I am lighting this candle. It is called Loved and Lost. And I burned that to remember Cupid today. I've added some shelves up here. <laughs> This is one of the tasks the handyman did, so I'm pretty happy about that. I still have the other shelves in their boxes, but yeah, I am setting this little shelf aside for memories of my Cupid. I have pictures that the photographer took a few days before he passed, and <laughs> she <laughs> took those and then she put them in a fold-out frame, which is just amazing that she did that for me and sent that. The next day, I decided to shift things around a bit. The candle is going on the side opposite of the curtain. It wasn't that close to the curtain, but, you know, I don't want to push my luck. So I just shifted everything to the opposite side. On the other shelf, I set up two frames and I'm going to put photos of me and my mom and me and my dad in them. I will have them printed the next time I get a batch of photos printed and put them in there. One frame is one that I gave to my mom as a gift and now I have it back. The other frame is one that I got when I did my thrift trip recently in an earlier video. Okay. <laughs> My new addition, Colt. <laughs> he has definitely made some changes <laughs> to this house. Oh my goodness. So he is one year and eight months. I remember thinking, you know, I really wanted to have an adult dog, not a puppy. But I have to say that that training an indoor dog or an out a previously outdoor dog to be an indoor dog does I don't know. I do feel a bit like I am training a puppy. <laughs> And because he's got this mischievous streak, because he's a poodle, he much prefers to steal things that I <laughs> that are not his to chew on, etc., rather than the many toys that I have both pulled out from the bin and also tried uh, purchasing for him to see if he will like them. Please, if you have suggestions for dog toys for chewers, I would love to know because <laughs> I'd love to get him some that he loves. And yeah, anytime I am done with a water bottle, he will pick it up. In fact, he doesn't always wait until I'm done. <laughs> But I love this guy. I It's going to be a challenge, but I'm going to bring in a trainer and we'll, we'll get going on this. I wanted him to have a chance to decompress and I feel like he's really done that. <laughs> so now I've got a bunch of bottles that need to go out to be recycled. So this area is officially Colt's Corner. Basically, I brought that bed over that Clay was just not at all interested in. And I put it right before this little bookcase. For a long time, Colt showed no interest in it either. But then a couple of days after he got here, he grabbed a water bottle and plopped onto it and now it is his lair so <laughs> so that's where the bed is gonna stay for now and I also got him this dog toy box that he can rummage around in but again he much prefers to steal things that 
he is not supposed to have, as is the way of the poodle. Clay did that all the time, and yeah, I don't know if he just told him his ways, or if, I, I think it. I think it's just genetic. <laughs> I remember when I was raising clay, I would tell people that poodles are great problem solvers. The problem is that you don't always agree with them on what's a problem. <laughs> and they will they will solve problems that you don't think are problems and yeah. It's it's an adventure and I am excited. <laughs> I'm also making sure to take a nap every day because <laughs> I need it, even if he doesn't. Colt is also a big fan of stealing shoes. So that's fun too. <laughs> it's really great to see things come back into order. I know they will be disordered again soon enough and that's just fine because you know I need more stuff to reclutter or declutter <laughs> I can't even talk <laughs> all right let's take a look at our results we're gonna start with the entryway and here is where we started Lots of stuff crammed into cubbies, things piled on top, flowers that were uh, dead. <laughs> and now you can see the shelves and everything is nice and ordered or at least more ordered. That dog cubby is definitely kind of overstuffed <laughs> and here is Colt's corner which is looking better as well all right I want to tell oh here's what we've got coming soon eee. I cannot even tell you. I mean, I knew I had a lot of t-shirts, <laughs> but this pile is so high and it's so deep. And it's, yeah, it's kind of scary. I need help. <laughs> I want to share my new channel. It is called Storytime with Mira. My mom came to me after I started my Peeling Away the Clutter channel and she wanted to do a channel called Grandma Reads, but her health didn't allow this and then she died before it could happen. So I want to do this in honor of her. I read one book a week and I'd love to have you join me over there. Peeling Away the Clutter is my main channel and I am posting here one to two times a week, but I'm also going to post a children's story over there once a week as well. So feel free to check it out if you're interested.